from the shores of Lake Ontario, Ontario Place, on to Exhibition Stadium in Toronto, where the key to victory could be Ron Lancaster, whose passing and perception earned him recognition for the second time as the Canadian Football League's outstanding player. Today, the Saskatchewan quarterback seeks his third Grey Cup win. Or the game breaker might be Tony Gabriel, Ottawa's outstanding Canadian tight end. Four years ago, his last minute receptions led Hamilton to the Grey Cup. Will he repeat for Ottawa? It's the day for Canada's national football final, Saskatchewan versus Ottawa. The 1976 Grey Cup game. There is no question that the Grey Cup Festival and the Grey Cup game is the greatest single sports attraction in our country. And as far as I'm concerned, it's the one game that really brings Canada together. We have fans from all over Canada on hand, and this shows you the power of the Canadian Football League and what it does to bring this country together. I'm speaking now of the fans who come from Saskatchewan and Ottawa, the two competing teams. I'm speaking also about the fact that we have fans from British Columbia. We also have fans coming from the Maritimes. We have fans coming from all across the country. And that's why this game really is a game that brings together Canada. If there's one disappointment for me, Ernie, it's the fact that we don't have a team in the Maritimes. Maybe that can be cured one day. But as we said, Ernie, there's no question as far as I'm concerned that this game is something special. There is just a tremendous air of excitement here at Exhibition Stadium in Toronto. Anywhere from five to seven points, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders have been favored. But as we say, it means nothing now as Macaridi kicks it to Art Green at his 15. Green gets out to the 34-yard line. Frank Landy, number 62, down to make the tackle for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. And the Ottawa Rough Riders will take over first and 10 at their 33-yard line. There's a look at the Ottawa offense, led by their great quarterback, Tom Clements. They'll have Art Green and John Palazzetti at the running back spots. The wing back will be Jim Foley. The wide receivers, Avery, Kuzik, and Gabriel, on first down Ottawa at their own 34-yard line. The give is to Green. And that's the kind of rushing that led him to the Eastern Conference Championship this year. And on second and one, will he give it straight ahead to Green? That is the call. Green gets to very close to the 35-yard line, tripped up by Cleveland Van, and that should be an Ottawa first down. First down Ottawa at the Ottawa 45. Again, this is Green. Three consecutive carries as flags go down. Provost number 10 and Lauren Richardson 17 are there to make the tackle. The preliminary indication is holding. It appears to be against the Ottawa Rough Riders. There it is. It is first and 20 Ottawa at their own 35. Clements throws into the middle intending it for Tony Gabriel. No good. The ball bounced in front of him as Lauren Richardson was there to provide very close coverage on the intended receiver. It is second and 20, Ottawa at their own 35. Clements going deep for Kuzik and the coverage by Provost. Kuzik is incensed, feels that there should be an interference call. There is no flag on the field. They initially from Canada, Provost, an American boy who went to Ohio State, prefers to be called that way. On third and 20, Jerry Organ's kick bounces in front of Leif Pedersen. He picks it up, flags go down, no yards will be the call as the Ottawa Rough Riders' Jeff Turcott was within the restraining area. As we look at the Saskatchewan Rough Rider offense led by Shenley Award winner Ron Lancaster, Molner and McGee in that backfield with Leif Pedersen, Dawson Mazurik and Richardson, the receivers, and let's watch Saskatchewan go to work offensively on first down at their own 40-yard line. Quickly to Bob Richardson. Richardson gets to about the 47. He'll have seven yards. Second and just a little more than three yards to go. The give is to McGee. McGee has the first down. This is Molner, big hole. Molner drops the ball, it's recovered by wonderful Mons. 
at the 50 yard line. Uh, let's see whether or not they rule the ball dead. Mons is on his way. The play has been whistled down. Wonderful Mons goes all the way into the end zone. Now the whistle has gone before the ball has come loose. We will await the official's decision. It will be Saskatchewan ball at the Ottawa 50-yard line. And so it is second and one Saskatchewan at the Ottawa 50-yard line. This is McGee. McGee has the first down, drops the ball. Recovered by Al Brenner. This time it will be Ottawa ball at their own 45-yard line. There is no score. Ottawa with the first break of the ball game comes up with first down at its own 45. Clemens on the draw to Palazzetti. Cleveland Van wraps him up at the 50. He'll have five yards. It'll be second and five, Ottawa. We've got 10 minutes left to play in this opening quarter. Clemens with his first completion to Kuzik. With the coverage being supplied by Jim Marshall, 26, he'll be very close to a first down. As meeting this week, what are the big decisions on the agenda? Well, it will be uh, negotiation will be the big thing, uh, and a lot the president of the Players Association. Pat, back to you. On second and six, Clemens fires it out to Palazzetti. He drops the ball, and so the pass will simply go incomplete as Ken McEachern gave him a little shot. It'll bring on the Ottawa putting unit on third and six as Tom Clemens who had such a brilliant first half, tapered off somewhat in the second half, but how can you say that really about a man that completed very close to 60% of his passes? Jerry Organ will try a 57-yard field goal. Rod Woodward to hold. Organ puts it up and it is short. Marshall at his six-yard line. A flag goes down as Marshall dives his way through to the 17-yard line. A good look at the 17-year veteran of CFL play. This is McGee. McGee is upended by Mark Cosmos. They rule there is no gain as Ronnie Lancaster, who was better than 60% in passing this year, had his finest season ever as a second and down. Lancaster is nailed just outside the goal area. He slipped down, and by the time he got back up, the Ottawa defensive unit had moved in on him. Good punt. Green awaits at his 38. And a fine return by Art Green. It is first down Ottawa at the Saskatchewan 28-yard line. Art Green. Six minutes left in the opening quarter. No score. Second and six, Ottawa. Green could not hang on. He had a wall of blockers in front of him. Clemens hit him right in the hands. He dropped the ball. Molly McGee is the only back in the Saskatchewan end zone. Morgan puts it up, and it is good. The Ottawa Rough Riders have gone out in front. Three to nothing. They will not take a kickoff. They will scrimmage the ball at the 35-yard line. Saskatchewan first down, trailing three to nothing. Lancaster to Molner. He couldn't get it. Second and ten, Saskatchewan at their 35. McGee hit instantly by wonderful Mons at the 38. The gain will be three yards. It'll be third and seven, and Saskatchewan will again be punting. And newcomer Bob Myrick is the short man in the event that Macarini's punt does not get much distance. Hatanaka takes it at the 33. Flags go down. But look at this return by Hatanaka. Touchdown, Bill Hatanaka. Pat, I think the marker on the play was no yards, but we'll have to wait and see. The rookie from York University, Bill Hatanaka, returns the punt 78 yards for the touchdown. 
Watch how alertly he comes into that pack. Ted Provo there had him lined up and was more concerned about protecting the outside. Bob Maccarini was the last man. Number 31 is trying to catch up with him at that point, but there was just no way that Luke Claire could catch Bill Hadanaka before he got into that end zone. Bill Hadanaka, you know, Grey Cups very often become the treasure of young rookies like Bill Hadanaka because they come up with big plays. You can go back to Red Story years ago in the 30s and what he did for the Argonauts. That play by Bill Hadanaka certainly will be something that he'll remember for years to come. Four minutes and 25 seconds left to play in this opening quarter, and the underdog Ottawa Rough Riders can grab a 10 to nothing lead if Jerry Organ is successful on this point after. It is good as Jerry Organ prepares for the kickoff, and he sends it deep to Marshall at his four yard line. Marshall with a good return out to the 35. And what a play it was as Lancaster now delivers complete to McGee. He's down by wonderful Mons after a gain of about four. Ball is right at the 39 yard line. Make it second and six. Lancaster delivers, intending it for Missouri. No good. It'll bring up. A third and six as Accuridi gets a good putt away that forces Art Green back to his 25. He drops the ball and then steps out of bounds. It is first down, Ottawa at their own 25. As Green bashes his way up close to the 30. They spot the ball just inside the 30, so it's second and six, and Clements wants to pass. Goes down the middle, complete to Gabriel, first down. Out to the 47-yard line, upended by Lauren Richardson, number 17. First down, Ottawa. 18 yards the gain, first down, Ottawa. Marker on the play. Clements down the middle again to Gabriel, wide open. And Gabriel gets into the Saskatchewan 37-yard line. So the first down is nullified and actually it was not a holding call it was procedure called against Ottawa so the five yard penalty will make it first and 15 and the ball is spotted at the Ottawa 42. Tom Clements who has a great history of coming up big in big games. Going deep for Gabriel. It was very nearly picked off by Ted Provost. He could not hang on. But the big defensive play for Saskatchewan. It is second and 15 Ottawa. The ball at their 42. The screen is set up to Green. Flags go down as Green gets out to about the 54. As the clock winds down, this may well be the final play of the opening quarter. Ball bounces in front of Patterson. Now he picks it up. Gets out to his own 34-yard line, and that's where the Saskatchewan Rough Riders will take over. I don't think there's any doubt about that. However, Saskatchewan will enjoy the benefit of the wind in the second quarter as Lancaster on this final play of the opening 15 minutes delivers complete to Dawson for the first down in front of Wayne Tosh, who makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. And that should be the final play of the opening quarter. The Ottawa Rough Riders are out in front, 10 to nothing. The teams will now switch ends. Saskatchewan will get advantage of the wind, and they'll need it because they trail by 10. times with a twist but Saskatchewan now has the win and they have the greatest catch-up quarterback in the history of the CFL Ronnie Lancaster at the controls with first down at his own 48 Lancaster for McGee he makes the catch Ma, or Al Brenner makes the tackle as flags go down 23 yards the gain by Saskatchewan first down at the Ottawa 39 
Lancaster for Dawson. He had tripped, and by the time he got up, the ball was beyond him. Ottawa with six deep backs in there. Lancaster on the throw to Patterson. First down at the Ottawa 25-yard line. Gives them first down at the Ottawa 25. The Western Riders on the move. Quickly to Bob Richardson. He could not hang on. It is second and 10, Saskatchewan. Pedersen makes the reception, has the first down into the Ottawa 13. First down at the Ottawa 13. They trail 10-0. Lancaster into the end zone, no good. Intended for Missouri with Wayne Tosh going high in the air with the Saskatchewan intended receiver. 12 minutes, 40 seconds left to play in the half. Ottawa 10, Saskatchewan nothing. Lancaster on second and 10. Throws complete to Pedersen. He should have the first down depending upon the placement of the ball. Peter Kreppa, number 10, made the tackle. 99 out of 100 times, you'll see Lancaster hand to his fullback. On a situation like this, look for Molnar. He takes it. Now, I don't know. This is going to be very close. They require a measurement on this one. The ball is spotted right at the three, and if that is the case, they will not have the first down, and they don't. The Ottawa defense has come up big again. First down, Ottawa, at their own three-yard line. They lead 10 to nothing with 12 minutes left to play in this first half. The give is to Green. Green fights his way out over the five to about the six. Again, this is Green. Green, with good second effort, gets out close to the nine. He'll be well short of the first down. Jerry Organ stands eight yards in his own end zone. He's had two punts, averaged 44 yards, as you saw, and gets a good one away into this wind. Patterson at the 43 is just drilled to the turf by Jeff Turcott, who is always first man downfield. Let's see what Ronnie Lancaster and that offensive unit can do now. On first down at the Ottawa 43. Molnar has the first down. Crepin drags him to the turf. Procedure is the call against Saskatchewan. Ottawa will accept the penalty. It'll be first and 15 Saskatchewan. Ronnie Lancaster, eight for 13 so far, still trying to get his club on the board. On first and 15, throws the screen to McGee. McGee will be very close to a first down in at the Ottawa 33-yard line. It is a first down Saskatchewan. They trail 10 to nothing. They have the ball at the Ottawa 32-yard line. Lancaster over the middle, complete to Richardson. He drops the ball. Saskatchewan recovers it, but now do they rule a completed pass? I believe they have, Pat, and I think they should have, too, from our vantage point, looking at it the first time in any event. Saskatchewan was in very close to Ottawa's goal area just moments ago. They're threatening again as Molnar takes the handoff, is grabbed by Rudy Sims, and appears to be short of the first down. And Macaridi will try to put the Western champions on the board. It is up, and it is good. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders are on the board and trail now by just the converted touchdown. The score is Ottawa 10, Saskatchewan 3. Tom Clements, a three-time All-American from Notre Dame, with the handoff to Art Green. Green is upended by Jesse O'Neill. Clements. Complete the Foley, he has the first down. There are flags down behind the line of scrimmage. Charlie Brandon called for holding number, number 61. And he comes into this game averaging 60% completions. Clements gets out over the 40 to about the 42. He'll be short of the first down. Now look at the number of carries and the yardage that he's accumulated over the season. He's a pretty fair runner himself. Jerry Organ's punt is by Steve Mazurik. And Mazurik gets all the way back to the Ottawa 45. Flags are down. No yards will be the call. You never count the Western champions out with this man at the controls. Steve Molnar. Good hole as Molnar gets in close to the 37-yard line. Second and two, Saskatchewan. McGee makes a one-handed grab and will be very close to the first down at the 36-yard line. 
He does. He has the first down, but flags are down on the field. Offside, Ottawa the call. Mazurik makes the catch for the first down at the 15 in front of Wayne Tosh, who makes the tackle. He's going to try to go for a touchdown now. We'll be back in a moment. Let's go to Pat. Lancaster throws complete to Mazurik. Mazurik will score. Touchdown. Well, a tremendous pattern here. Leaf Pedersen, Steve Mazurik crossing. Pedersen to the outside. You see number 71 there, but it's Mazurik who caught the ball coming into the middle. He just winds his way across. A fine block there by number 25, Rhett Dawson on wonderful Mons to allow Steve Mazurik to get very close to the Ottawa Rough Riders as Bob Macarini will now try the tying point. High pass from center. Flags go down. Macarini is good. We've got a tie score at 10 with four minutes and four seconds left to play. He was with Ottawa in the 1960 Grey Cup when they won. He beat Ottawa in 1966. He's looking for his third Grey Cup victory as Bob Macarini prepares to kick it away for Saskatchewan. Art Green takes it at his 10. A good return. Clemens throws complete to Foley. He drops the ball. Performer in this first half. Second and 20, and Clemens again looking to go to the air. Going deep. Picked off by Ted Provost. And Provost is forced out inside the Ottawa 20-yard line. Tom Clements is not particularly hurried on this play. It's a badly thrown ball. Tony Gabriel was much more shallower than that. Covered by Gore Provo in the deep middle position was able to pick it off. It's tied at 10. Saskatchewan, who trailed at one point, 10 to nothing, threatening to take over the lead. They have the ball at the Ottawa 25, first down. Lancaster quickly to Richardson. He breaks the tackle at the 10. Touchdown, Bob Richardson. Rod Woodward could not hang on. Richardson scores. Ronnie Lancaster, the great veteran, read the safety blitz from Al Brenner. The linebackers were coming as well. Right after by Macarini is good. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders are out in front 17 to 10. First down, Ottawa. They have not moved the ball effectively offensively. This is the wing back reverse to Jim Foley. Oh, what a play by Ray Odoms. First of all, he shut the corner down, then got underneath the ball carrier to upend him after a gain of maybe three. Both former Winnipeg Blue Bombers. On second and nine, Clements throws for Foley, and it is intercepted by Manchuk 75. Saskatchewan ball at the Ottawa 51. Here we see it, Manchuk falling off with Foley right there, recovering, following him to the sideline. Foley had an edge on him, but the ball thrown a little behind. A minute 40 left to Steve Molner is ridden down by Mike Finucci, back of the line of scrimmage. Molly McGee is out of the lineup. As you saw moments ago, being taped up with a rib injury. As Lancaster goes down in the arms of Mike Raines, way back at the 34-yard line of Saskatchewan. Art Green at the top of your screen, and Bill Hatanaka, number 16, who returned a punt 78 yards in the opening quarter for a touchdown, back awaiting this punt from Macarini, who just got it away under a heavy rush from Ottawa. Green at his 43, goes down at the 45. Tom Clements has gone all the way at quarterback for Ottawa. He's in there now, number two. The draw to Art Green. And he's met right in the hole by Frank Landy, number 62. They may be going to the air trying to work that clock and trying to get on the board, but he opts for the draw play right off the bat. It is second and nine. Clemens for Kuzik makes the catch at the 30-yard line. 
Mike, I think what the concern was, and it was, in fact, a penalty flag thrown, Clements had crossed the line of scrimmage before delivering the ball, and so the pass is incomplete, and it will bring up a third down. Good high punt by Oregon, forces Pedersen back inside his 20. Turcott is down quickly, and flags go down. The indication, no yards against Jeff Turcott. And go with a single back in that backfield. That is Steve Molnar. Molnar gets out to about the 39, which will be a first down. It's 15 seconds left to play in the half. First down, Saskatchewan at their own 39. Lancaster going deep. Logan looking for Brian O'Hara as the gun sounds to end the first half of play. A complete reversal. Ottawa jumped out in front 10-0 when they had the wind advantage, but in fact, it was a great punt return of 78 yards by Bill Hatanaka that enabled them to get out in front 10 to nothing. And then they changed ends, and Saskatchewan scored 17 unanswered points. They laid it 17 to 10 on touchdowns by Missouri and Richardson and the field goal by Bob Macaridi. Total Quartz with age resistance technology. Improve protection against mechanical wear by up to 64% to keep your engine younger for longer. Turn your car engine into a tireless athlete. Total Quartz engine oil gives you the performance you need to achieve your goals, whether on the field or on the track. Total Quartz Lubricants, proud partner of the Canadian Football League. The second half of the Grey Cup game about to get underway here at Exhibition Stadium in Toronto, and what a contest it is. As you see the panoramic view from the helicopter overhead of Exhibition Place. And that's how they stand statistically through the first two quarters of this game. Tom Campana, the designated import, is in in place of Molly McGee, who will not be back today, reportedly. Here's the pass to Campana, and he's hauled down right at the line of scrimmage, the 36-yard line by Rod Woodward, number 27. They got a yard on the last play, the 37-yard line. Flags fly. Ottawa could be offside. The pass to nowhere. That'll move it up five. Gets Saskatchewan second down over again. Now they'll have four yards to go. Missouri on the right side. Here's Molnar. Molnar at the 47-yard line will have the first down for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. That pass thrown badly in behind Rhett Dawson. On the left side, Richardson and Dawson for second down and 10. Big charge on Lancaster, and it is almost picked off by wonderful Mons. There is a penalty marker down. Offside Ottawa was the call. Lancaster flares one out for Rhett Dawson against Wayne Tosh. Tosh has him at the 47. It's going to be another Saskatchewan first down. This is Mulder, met by Cosmos around the 43-yard line. He'll have three to four yards. We are now three and a half minutes into the third. This is second down. No good. Illustrator Ronnie Telestrator. That was Leif Patterson with Peter Crepan defending third. there. It's going to be third down and six for Saskatchewan. This is going to be a 50-yard field goal attempt by Bob Macaridi. About 51 when Ron Lancaster puts it down. Macaridi has got it. As the cannon goes off in the end zone, Saskatchewan has a 10-point lead. Here is Tom Clements, first down, 35. Tony Gabriel, first down, Ottawa, a gain of 16 yards. Gabriel, first down, Ottawa. Martin Green has four yards near midfield. Yes, he is feeling bad. All right, we'll go back to the action, and thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Clements made a motion to Palazzetti and rolls left and keeps the ball. Saskatchewan, 50. 
Saskatchewan 40 yard line. And a gain of 15 yards. Gabriel, good catch. Good first tackle thrown on him at the 36 yard line by Ken McEcker. And it's so very important to this Ottawa ball club to keep possession as they're working against this win coming out of the south here at Exhibition Stadium. Field goal attempt from the 40 yard line by Oregon held by Woodward. He's got it. Once again, they are only a touchdown apart. And the big thing we've got going in this ball game, as far as I'm concerned, is look at all those points. They're all scored by Canadians. 33 points. It's quite a day for the homebrews. Saskatchewan goes from the 35 of the first time. Molner dropped the ball. Who forced Molner. Now Lancaster is going to go deep down the middle. He's got Richardson. Center field, the Ottawa 52-yard line. First down, Western Riders. For Richardson, tipped, and they cannot make the interception on the deflection. But the Saskatchewan leading 20 to 13. Richardson again at the 36, hit by Alan Brenner. They can't seem to find a way, Frank, to detain this big tight end of Saskatchewan, Bob Richardson. And it's Saskatchewan's point of scrimmage on first down. This is Steve Bowler. Colucci got a piece of it, referee in chief, Frank Rigney. <laughs> Lancaster. Dawson had to dig for it. He threw the ball out of bounds. Macaridi was good from 51, will now try from the 43-yard line. Another Saskatchewan field goal. Wide, Art Green out of the end zone, the 10-yard line. Green out of bounds, the 14. Tom Clements has gone all the way at quarterback for Ottawa. Art Green. Two yards, maybe three at the 17. But a good play by the middle linebacker of Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan with a tremendous passing attack today. Over 200 yards. We're still in the third quarter. Clements for Gabriel. First down at the 26-yard line. Staying in there. Art Green across the 40, the 30 and 35. He's got about nine yards. John Palazzetti fights for and may have picked up a first down that is going to be close. Everybody wants a look. Odom's leaning in. Oh, no, they don't make it. They're short by a matter of inches. A big gamble right here. Clements keeps. Oh, he slipped a bit. Leaned forward. I think he's got the first down. Tom Clements. Second year pro from Notre Dame. What a poised young quarterback he is, considering his lack of overall experience in professional company. Fakes the Palazzetti, rolling out. Oh, and it was to Kuzik at the 55-yard line. What a defensive play by Ray Odom's minute. 13 to play in the third quarter. Saskatchewan leads 20 to 13. For Foley, a good goal, he dropped the ball. He had it for a split second, then let it get away at the Saskatchewan 50-yard line against three defenders. Campana is back with Marshall at the 35-yard line for this punt from Jerry Organ, which is going to be a, a run by Organ. It all opened up for him. He's got a first down, midfield, still going at the 45-yard line. Jerry Organ at the 30, Organ at the Saskatchewan 21-yard line. He fooled everybody. I'll tell you, Don, he fooled me as well as he got, brings that ball back 51 yards. The story of this ball game so far for Ottawa has been their specialty teams. What a great return. Finally stopped by Tom Campana and Brian O'Hara, number 16. But another big play by that Ottawa specialty team. First down on Saskatchewan's 21. Only 19 seconds remain in this third quarter. I just like. Oh, 
it's right to Cleveland Van. He picked it off for Saskatchewan. They'll go for the 25-yard line. He put the ball right up into the area of Cleveland Van, who was the closest man to it. Always seems to be around the ball in the Ottawa Saskatchewan games because earlier this year when these two teams played, he intercepted Conrad Holloway on Ottawa's 15-yard line and ran it right back into the end zone. At the 25-yard line, thanks to Cleveland Van. Tom Campana has a yard of the 26, taken down by Mark Cosmos. And that is it. Time is out. The gun sounds, and at the end of the third quarter, the score is Saskatchewan 20, Ottawa 13. Hey guys, it's Brody Lawson from the Canadian Football League. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's game. If you like what you see, be sure to visit cfl.ca for more on the Canadian Football League. But while you're here, we also think there's a lot of stuff you'll enjoy. So like, subscribe, or follow. And make sure you guys are following at CFL on all social channels. But for now, enjoy the game. Second down, nine, Lancaster has found Patterson for a Saskatchewan first down. Well, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders now come Panas in for the injured Molly McGee, and this is Steve Moeller. Moeller at the 49-yard line has about five. Both teams are uh, seem to be going to the passing game and not establishing much running, so I think uh, Regina would have to have the advantage at this point. This is first down at midfield for Saskatchewan. Campana. Has about four yards of the Ottawa 51-yard line. Way over the head of Missouri at the 35-yard line. This is Bob Macaridi, the Saskatchewan punter. High snap to him. He skins it along the turf. It goes to the 45-yard line. They'll call no yards against Saskatchewan. Wayne Tosh picked it up. And it was a minor miracle that Macaretti even got the ball away. Here come the Ottawa Rough Riders trailing 20 to 13, just under 12 minutes left. For Tony Gabriel, no good. They're a touchdown apart. There's Bill Hadanaka, number 16, wide left. Second down. Clements challenged down to the 45 by George Wells. Hey, that's the way the season should end. I thank you, Doc. Here's Oregon. Good snap. Not a very good kick, though. Didn't get much into it. Gets an Ottawa bounce inside the Saskatchewan 25 to Tom Pancana. And he is back to the 23-yard line. Campana cut down by Jim Piaskoski at the 21, 20 yard line. That'll cost him three yards as the defensive end came knifing through. All, all afternoon, Ottawa's defense has been most impressive against the rush. Second to 13 now. Campana swings out of there. Lancaster throws it to him, too low. Oh, the stories this battered old trophy could tell. The Grey Cup, and in the final 10 minutes now, we will soon be able to tell which of these teams will possess it for 1976. Third down, Saskatchewan. Macaridi stationed near his five-yard line to kick into a win. The snap into his hands from Brandt. But the kick hangs up around the 50-yard line. And for the Ottawa Rough Riders, Bobby Myrick brought it back to the Saskatchewan 50, so indeed Ottawa does have better than midfield position for an attempted comeback drive. Saskatchewan leads this ball game 20-13, 9-22 remaining. Avery left, Adonaka wide right, Foley in the slot. This is Art Green, picks his way to the 45. He's got about five in the grasp of big Jesse O'Neill. Clements for Foley, 33-yard line, Ottawa first down. I'll tell you what a tremendous job of getting this football away, too. George Wells gets caught to the inside and allows Clements to get to the outside, but he just manages to dump that ball off to Foley. First down, Ottawa. Pitch to Green. 
And he is into the 27 where Frank Landy finally stopped him. Palazzetti on the draw. Saskatchewan have him at the 25-yard line, a one-yard gain. They are four short of the first down. Down to the final seven minutes and 23 seconds of regulation time in the Grey Cup. Jerry Organ with Rod Woodward lining up a field goal from the 32-yard line. But remember, Organ does not always come through with the play that they call. This time he does, and he's got three points. And now, Ottawa trails Saskatchewan by four at 20 to 16. The clock shows seven minutes and seven seconds remaining. This, Frank, is turning out to be just a tremendous Grey Cup game, and I expect a tremendous finish. Lancaster for Patterson, first down. A gain of 12, that is his sixth reception of the day. And Dawson Wright, Bowler in the backfield, a block for Lancaster. Flares out of there, the pass complete at the 54-yard line. Patterson once again. Molner fighting for the first down. It's going to be close. Fires. Molner did not slip. However, he did not pick up the first down. As you see referee Don Barker. With a four-point lead, this is no place to gamble. Gary Brandt has had a couple of bad snaps. He can't afford one here. Back to Macaridi. Little high, Macaridi. Oh, a little rush. Got it off away from Brenner. Here's Green. Out of all 15. Art Green to the 26-yard line. This is the four-point lead. This is no place to gamble. Gary Brandt has had a couple of bad snaps. He can't afford one here. Back to Macaridi. Little high, Macaridi. Oh, a little rush. Got it off away from Brenner. Here's Green. Out of all 15. Art Green to the 26-yard line. Four minutes and 50 seconds left. All kinds of time for Clements. Finds Avery. Avery has a first down. Ottawa, first down. For Foley or for Avery, either one, it was out of bounds. Exactly four minutes left. For Green, good block for him. Green has an Ottawa first down at midfield. Ottawa at center field with 3.38 left. Draw play to Green. Saskatchewan reacting well. Yeah, based on the course of the year that the Saskatchewan Rough Riders have had, I'm sure that they're pleased they have that defensive unit out on the field right now trying to win this ball game with only three minutes left. They've been the best defense in the country against the pass. He fakes the draw. Fires it to Tony Gabriel wide open. Gabriel, Saskatchewan, 30. 15, the 10 yard line. A big play by Tony Gabriel and Tom Clements for the Ottawa Rough Riders. I'll tell you, watch Gabriel come from his tight end position. All three of the linebackers from Saskatchewan just completely ignore him. He just moves across and comes across on a, a crossing pattern only about eight or ten yards deep, and he's so wide open, Tommy Clements sees him easily. He moves the ball all the way down to the ten-yard line. We'll be right back with the Ottawa's first down after this. to be if the Ottawa Rough Riders are able to get this ball into the end zone it could go ahead 23 to 20 
Of course, Saskatchewan would have time. There's 2:44 remaining in the ball game, and there's no quarterback in the history of the Canadian Football League can use the clock better than Ron Lancaster. 2:34 remaining. First down. They can get a first down without scoring a touchdown. Art Green hits it to the eight-yard line. Time and score of the utmost importance. 20 to 16, Saskatchewan. Second down, Ottawa. Saskatchewan eight-yard line. Clements to the one-yard line. He fumbles the football. The ball has been ruled down, I believe. They need about half a yard for a first down and a yard for a touchdown. Remember, Saskatchewan from the three in the first quarter failed to get in. Ottawa now must go in with this one or at least get the first down. Clements, it's going to be very, very close. The yardsticks now will watch the face of George Brancato there and John Payne. Players huddling around the measurement. No, Saskatchewan takes over. 132 remaining, and John Payne indeed is a happy man. Lancaster works for the one yard line. Campana gets up to the six. 128 left now. So now Saskatchewan is second down and five from the six. Campana. No, he stopped around the seven. Saskatchewan is going to have to punt. Ottawa will get another chance. Myrick is in the shallow zone of the 30. Adonaka and Green of the 40. The kick from the end zone. A good one by Macaridi. Out to Adonaka. 35. That's it. Cleveland Van has him there at the 35 with 44 seconds remaining. Well, this ball game is far from over, Don. They've got a lot of time. Ottawa's got to put in all the stops. They trail 20 to 16. And you'd have to believe they'd be looking for Tony Gabriel in a situation like this, Don. Oh, to Green. They have him wrapped up. Number 37, Roger Goree, wrapped his arms around him. 40 seconds left now. Counting down for 40 seconds on second down. It's Gabriel coming across. He's open. He's got it. First down at the 24-yard line with 31 seconds remaining. They're 24 yards and 31 seconds away from a Grey Cup comeback victory. Gabriel is open in the end zone. Touchdown! has to throw the football. He beat Ted Provost, the safety of Saskatchewan number 10. Wide open in the end zone. And a great throw by little Tommy Clements. Grant Cato does not display joy on his face, but inside he's got to be a happy man. And the Saskatchewan Rough Riders would have been far happier, Don, had Ottawa scored on the previous attempt. They hadn't held him with third and one because they would have had time to come back. But now they have only 20 seconds. They're a field goal apart, 23-20, and that's a very valid point you just made. Oregon gets the go-ahead for the kickoff. Skips through the hand to the five-yard line of O'Hara. Back to the 15, that's it. And they've got 13 seconds left. Saskatchewan came back to go ahead 17-10. They battled for the second half. Now it's down to this. A long one by Lancaster. It is almost picked off. Time has run out on the clock. Mom's knocked it down. That's There's it, the Don. gun. It's all over, and the Ottawa Rough Riders have upset Saskatchewan and won the 1976 breakup. One of the most dramatic, exciting breakup windups in the long history 
of the Canadian Professional Football Championship. Two great throws from Tommy Clements to Tony Gabriel caps off a great Ottawa comeback. Their victory 23-20 over Saskatchewan.